Trump vetoes Iran War Powers Resolution President Donald Trump on Wednesday vetoed the Iran War Powers Resolution, a bipartisan effort to rein in presidential authority to use military force against Iran without congressional approval. Trump called it a very insulting resolution and argued the measure was based on misunderstandings of facts and law in a statement. This indefinite prohibition is unnecessary and dangerous, the White House said in a separate message to the Senate on Wednesday. Trump had long threatened a veto, which Congress isn't expected to have enough votes to override. But passage of the resolution, which Democratic Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia introduced following the president's decision to order a strike that killed Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani in January, represented a significant rebuke of the president and highlighted congressional support for efforts to check the executive branch's war-making powers. Trump in his Wednesday statement claimed the resolution was introduced by Democrats as part of a strategy to win an election on November 3 by dividing the Republican Party. The Senate passed the resolution with bipartisan support despite the president's vocal opposition. The Democratic-controlled House passed it the following month with a handful of Republicans crossing the aisle. The resolution called for the president to terminate the use of United States armed forces for hostilities against the Islamic Republic of Iran or any part of its government or military unless explicitly authorized by a declaration of war or specific authorization for use of military force against Iran. It included a provision ensuring the president would still be able to defend the United States from imminent attack absent congressional approval. Contrary to the resolution, the United States is not engaged in the use of force against Iran. Four months ago, I took decisive action to eliminate Qasem Soleimani while he was in Iraq. Iran responded by launching a series of missiles at our forces stationed in Iraq. No one was killed by these attacks, Trump said in his statement, in which he claimed the strike against Soleimani was fully authorized by law. The resolution implies that the president's constitutional authority to use military force is limited to defense of the United States and its forces against imminent attack. That is incorrect, Trump said. We live in a hostile world of evolving threats, and the Constitution recognizes that the president must be able to anticipate our adversary's next moves and take swift and decisive action in response. That's what I did. At the time the Senate passed the resolution, Kane argued it wasn't intended to reign in any one president's power. It would apply equally to any president, he said. It's fundamentally about Congress owning up to and taking responsibility for the most significant decision that we should ever have to make. Claire Foran, Ted Barrett and Haley Byrd contributed to this story. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.